Hash sets allow an investigator to quickly identify known safe files such as operating system and program files or known suspected files such as viruses or hacker scripts to reduce the need for further time consuming analysis. Hash sets are used in a data analysis technique called hash analysis which uses the MD5, SHA-1, and SHA-256 hashes of files to verify the files on the storage device. A hash uniquely identifies the contents of a file regardless of file name. In other words, any two files with the same hash are said to be one and the same. A collection of these hash values form what's called a hash set, which can be used to reduce the time required to search a storage media for particular files of interest. In particular, files that are known to be safe or trusted can be eliminated from file searches. Hash sets can also be used to identify the presence of malicious, contraband, or incriminating files such as bootleg software, illicit pornography, viruses, and other evidence files. A new database creates a new empty hash database. Clicking this button will prompt the user to provide a name for the database. After a valid name is entered, the database will appear in the list ready for use. A new set creates a new hash set inside of the currently active database. Clicking this button will open the new hash set window where you can specify the creation options. The export button exports the currently selected hash set to CSV format. If a single hash file or hash set rather is selected, then just the selected hash set is exported. If any other item is selected, then all hash sets contained in the database are exported. In the import option, this imports a hash set into the currently active database. CSV sets, the NSRL set, or for our US law enforcement users, the Project VIC hash sets can be imported. The Make Database Active button makes the currently selected database active. The active database is the database that shall be used for all operations in OS Forensics requiring hash sets. You can also make a database active via right click in selecting Make Active. The currently active database will be highlighted in gold. In either the file name search, the file system browser, or the mismatch search, it is possible to do a lookup on the files found to see if they exist within the active hash database. This is accomplished by check marking a single file or all files from the list, then right clicking and choosing look up in hash set. Depending on whether you do this for a single file or multiple files, you will get a different interface. In both cases, however, the file will be marked in the original list as to whether a match was found. Here's a breakdown of one way to search an entire system for specific hashes. Method number one. Make sure the custom hash set you want to search for is marked as active in the hash sets module. 2. Open the file name search module. Next, you'll select all files, preset, and click search to parse the drive or disk images file system. You will then choose the file details tab view. Check mark all listed files then right click in the results pane and choose the check marked files option at the bottom of the right click options. Finally choose lookup and hash set option. Here we see the file name search has finished parsing the file system. All files were checked with a single click of the master checkbox in the column header and then we see through the right click menu how to scan these results against the active hash set. And here is what it looks like once you've started the hash set scan 
within the file name search module. Here's another method to scan an entire disk or device that has been added to the case with just a few clicks of the mouse. In this method, you would simply make sure the custom hash set you want to search for is marked as active in the hash sets module. Then open the file system browser module and highlight the drive or device you wish to scan the hash set against and press Ctrl H on your keyboard or simply right click on the drive or device and choose the lookup and hash set option. Here's a look at how simple this method is at running a hash set lookup against a drive or device that has been added to your case. Keep in mind this process is the same if you were to highlight just a particular folder or directory within the file system from this module. Once the hashing scan is complete, the user will easily see any hash matches as they are presented here for your review in the hash set scan window. Let's look at one other very useful option in the hash sets module. The quick set feature allows investigators to create a hash set simply by supplying a set of MD5 SHA-1 or SHA-256 hashes and giving the set a name. This is a very useful and quick feature for rapidly trying to locate a specific file or small group of known files by an investigator. First let's look at creating one. Creating a new quick hash set is a very straightforward process. Simply name the set and copy and paste in a list of hashes in the supported formats, which again are SHA-1, SHA-256, or MD5. Please note this supports the SHA-1 base 16 and not base 32 hash values regarding SHA-1 hashes. After creating the quick hash set, you'll simply right click and choose make active. The hash set will be highlighted in gold when active. So let's assume that the investigator knows what types of files are in the quick hash set. For instance, he or she may know they are all AVI video files, or video files in general, or image type files like JPEGs. The investigator can then quickly scale down the amount of files from a drive by utilizing the preset search filters in the file name search module. So instead of hashing a half million files in the file system in order to check for a small group of video files, it makes much more sense to only hash video files found on the system. So first, use a preset and file name search to quickly find the file types if the files from your quick hash set. In this example, I know that the files in my quick hash set are all image types of files. Therefore, I filtered my image files, which took my total files from over 500,000 to just below 6,500 image files. This scan took mere seconds to complete. I then checked all files in the list, right clicked, and chose lookup in hash set. In just around 30 seconds, OS Forensics hashed all 6,500 image files and compared them against my quick hash set as shown here in this slide. This entire operation, from creating the hash set to filtering down the file system by file type and searching the hash set, took less than a couple minutes to accomplish versus many hours it would take in a lab to hash all files on a disk or the file system, which in most cases is a big waste of time. Users can double click on the files in the results to view in the OSF file viewer. Users can double click on the files in the results to view in the OS Forensics file viewer. From there they can right click and add the file to case or tag files for later review.